you guys, this is Mr. Millings, and today we're going to learn about something called molarity. If you remember from the last video, we learned how to calculate the composition of a solution or the solution's concentration using something called mass percent. If we wanted to know uh, what percentage of a solution's mass was the dissolved solute in that solution, we simply took the mass of the solute and divided it by the mass of the solution and multiplied by 100. Well, there's an easier way to calculate the solution of a concentration, and it's called molarity. And in fact, in science and in chemistry, most chemists and scientists use this way of calculating a solution's concentration. So let's take a look at molarity, and let's see uh, how to, we can apply the idea of molarity to several different problems. So what is molarity? Well, if we take a look at what molarity is, it says right here that the molarity of a solution is going to be equal to the moles of dissolved solute in that solution divided by the total liters of the solution. Okay, so molarity is a way of determining a solution's concentration. And in, in short, to get the molarity of a solution, capital M stands for molarity here, and that's going to be equal to the moles of solute divided by the liters of solution. Or simply put, molarity equals moles per liter. So let's suppose we have a beaker here. And in this beaker here, what we want to do is we want to make a uh, we want to make 0.5 liters of a salt water solution. So over here we have some salt, and what we want to do is we want to make 0.5 or 0.5 liters of this salt water solution. And what we're going to do is we're going to add 2.5 moles of this table salt here to this beaker. We're going to stir it up till it all dissolves, and we're going to make 0.5 liters of this salt water solution. If I then ask you to determine the molarity of this solution, the molarity of this salt water solution, how would we end up doing that? Well, it says right here, to determine the molarity or the concentration using molarity, it's simple. We take the moles of dissolved solute and we divide it by the total liters of solution. So in this problem here, if you take a look, we've got 2.5 moles right here that we're going to dissolve in this solution. So we have 2.5 moles. And the total liters of solution that we're trying to make here, or we're going to make here, is 0.5 liters. So if I put this in my calculator, I will end up with 5 moles per liter. What does this mean? This means that for every 1 liter of this solution that I have, there's going to be 5 moles of sodium chloride dissolved in it. Okay, so this is molarity. And if I want to, what we can then do is simply change this moles per liter here to a capital M. Same exact thing. Okay, what this means is that we have a 5 molar solution. This tells you how concentrated that solution is. Okay, so moles per liter turns into this little capital M, meaning molar. All right, so let's uh, take a look at a few formulas that we can derive uh, from the molarity formula itself. Okay, so if we know that the molarity of a solution is equal to the moles per liter of the solution, and we are asked to solve for moles here, how do I get rid of this liters from this side of the equal sign? It's simple. I just take this and I put it on top of over here, and I will end up with the moles of solute being equal to the liters of solution times the molarity. Okay, so we can basically move these variables around and come up with this new formula to figure out how many moles of dissolved solute there are in the solution if you know the molarity of the solution and the liters of solution as well. Furthermore, what we can do is we can now solve for L. If you want to figure out how many liters of solution there are, if you know the molarity and you know the number of moles of dissolved solute, it's simple. We'll just divide both sides by M and we will end up with this formula right here. Okay, to get the liters of solution, we take the moles of dissolved solute and we divide it by the molarity. So from this one molarity formula, we can in fact uh, end up with three different formulas where we can solve for the three different variables. So let's go ahead and apply, apply these three formulas to several different practice problems. Okay, in this first uh, practice problem, it says a saltwater solution has 2.55 moles of salt dissolved in it to make 3.75 liters of solution. Determine the solution's molarity. So we're asked to calculate the solution's molarity here. 
we want to determine the concentration of this solution. We know that molarity is going to equal moles per liter. Moles per liter. So to do this problem here, we know that molarity equals moles per liter. Moles of dissolved solute per liters of solution. And in this problem here, if we take a look, it tells us right here that we've got 2.55 moles of salt dissolved. So this here is going to be the moles of solute, or the moles here. So we've got 2.55 moles of salt. And now somewhere in here, it must tell us how many liters of solution there are. And in fact, if you take a look right here, it tells us that there are 3.75 liters of solution. So we divide this by 3.75 liters. And we'll get a calculator out and type this in and we end up with 0 0.680 moles per liter or in other words 0 0.680 capital M or molar okay so what is the molarity of this solution well this solution is a 0 0.680 molar solution this means for every one liter of solution that we have there's going to be this much, 0 0.680 moles of solute dissolved in it. So let's take a look at another problem. All right, in this example problem, it says if 25.5 liters of solution has a molarity of 1.35 times 10 to the negative fourth uh, molar, then how many moles of solute have been dissolved in it? So we have a solution here. In fact, it tells us that we've got uh, 25.5 liters of this solution and it tells us the concentration right here it says the molarity is this right here so this is going to be capital M and if we take a look this is going to be a very small number 10 to the negative fourth is a very small number so it's going to be a pretty dilute solution it's not going to be very concentrated at all so what we're asked to find is how many moles of solute we're asked to calculate the number of moles of solute that are dissolved in this solution so to get the moles of solute, we simply take the liters of solution times the molarity. So to get the moles of solute, we take liters times the molarity. And this is going to equal 25.5 liters times the molarity, 1.35. Make this bigger here, 1.35 times 10 to the negative fourth times 10 to the negative fourth don't forget the capital M and if we put this in our calculator let's see what we should end up with okay so we have 25.5 times 1.35 EE negative 4 and we end up with 3.44 times 10 to the negative third Okay, times 10 to the negative third. And what uh, is going to be left over? What unit will be left over? Well, this is going to be moles. Anytime you have liters times this capital M here, uh, or the molarity symbol, it's going to be moles. Okay, so this is right here. This is the amount of dissolved solute that is in this 25.5 liters of solution that has a molarity of 1.35 times 10 to the negative fourth. Let's take a look at another example. Okay, in this example here, if we take a look, it says the molarity of a solution is 1.5 molar. If 6.5 moles of solute is dissolved in it, then determine the volume of the solution. So in this problem here, we are asked to determine the volume of the solution. So we are asked to find the liters of solution. So in this problem here, we're solving for L. We know to get the liters of solution, you take the moles of dissolved solute and we divide it by the molarity of the solution. So in this problem here, if we take a look, it tells us that the molarity of the solution is 1.5 molar. So this right here is going to be your, uh, your molarity or capital M. And it says you have 6.5 moles of solute dissolved. 6.5 moles of solute is dissolved in this solution. So this is going to be your moles of solute. So in this problem, you're asked to find the liters uh, or the volume of the solution in liters. So we know that to get the liters of the solution, we simply take the moles of dissolved solute, and we're going to divide that by the molarity. And in this problem here, it looks like we have 6.5 moles 
of dissolved solute. And we're going to divide that by the molarity, which it says right here is 1.55 molar. And when we put this in our calculator, we will end up with 4.33. Let's see here. What are we trying to solve for? We're trying to find the volume. This is going to be liters. So anytime you have moles divided by molarity, that is going to turn into this unit of measurement right here, liters. So you've got 4.33 liters of this solution if you have 6.5 moles of this solute dissolved in it to make a 1.5 molar solution. All right, let's take a look at one last problem. Okay, in this problem here, uh, we have several things going on. It says calculate the molarity of a solution that contains 70.5 grams of Al2SO43 and 345 milliliters of water. Okay, so in this problem here, we are asked to find the molarity of a solution. However, before we even begin, we can see that there's several things going on in this problem. First of all, we know that to, cal to calculate the molarity, we need the moles of solute divided by the liters of solution. However, in this problem here, it says that we've got 70.5 grams of this substance right here. So we're going to go ahead and have to convert the, the grams of this substance to moles first. Secondly, if we take a look, it says that we have 345 milliliters of water. Okay, so let's take a look here. At this formula right here, it's moles per liter. The molarity equals moles per liter. This is going to be in milliliters right here though. So we're also going to have to convert this to liters. So there's two things going on here. So let's first figure this one out. We know that this is 345 milliliters. And if we want to convert this to liters, it's simple. We just slide the decimal to the left three times and we will end up with 0 0.345 liters. So that's how many liters of this solution there are. Secondly, what we need to do is we need to convert this to moles. We learned from an earlier unit to convert grams to moles, we need to take this and we need to divide it by the molar mass of this entire thing. So what is the molar mass of this entire thing? Well, you're going to have to take 12 times 16, which is the molar mass of oxygen, and then add that to 3 times 32, the molar mass of sulfur, and then add that to 2 times 27, which is the molar mass of aluminum. And if we do all of that, we should end up with a grand total of 342. grams per mole. Okay, so this is the molar mass of aluminum sulfate. And so if we want to convert the grams of this to moles of this stuff right here, we need to take 70.5 and divide that by 342. If we do that, we will get the number of moles of this Al2SO43. So let's go ahead and do that right now. We've got 70.5 and we're going to divide that by 342 and we get 0 0.206. Okay, so we have the number of moles now, which is right here. That's the number of moles of dissolved solute. And we have the total liters of solution, which we just figured out was right here. And now we can finally use this equation, right? This formula right here. Molarity equals moles per liter. We have moles here, we have liters here. So now we can just go ahead and plug it in. The molarity of a solution is going to equal the moles of dissolved solute divided by liters of solution. And in this problem here, it looks like we have 0.206. moles of the solute dissolve to make 0 0.345 liters of solution. So we'll get our calculator out once again and we'll take point zero two zero, uh, 0 0.206 and we'll divide that by 0 0.345 
and we will end up with a final answer of 0 0.597. Okay, so the molarity of this solution is going to end up being 0 0.597 moles per liter, or in other words, 0 0.597 capital M, which means molar. So we have a 0 0.597 molar solution here. For every one liter of this solution, there's going to be 0 0.597 moles of aluminum sulfate dissolved in it. So this is molarity, and I hope you found this helpful.